After a long search, the foreman has finally found the right rock. It's huge and heavy. He directs his men to begin their work. Their task, to haul the rock 50 miles through the jungle to the city where an artist will carve it into a sculpture. Their challenge, to move the rock without using a wheeled cart or animals. Welcome to the world of the Olmec. The Olmec culture began along Mexico's Gulf Coast around 1200 BC. The development of this culture led to the birth of Mesoamerica's first civilization. Like the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt, India, and China, the Olmec emerged on the floodplains of rivers. Heavy rains caused these rivers to flood and deposit fertile silt on their plains. The rich soil allowed farmers to grow abundant crops. In time, the culture's economy expanded and cities including San Lorenzo, La Venta, and Tres Zapotes began to develop. Olmec cities contained pyramids and temples built on earthen mounds. The Olmec also built courts where athletes played a game that was a sort of combination of modern soccer and basketball. You will learn more about this game later in this chapter. Archaeologists have also found extraordinary works of art in Olmec cities. Chief among these are the huge stone heads the Olmec carved out of rock. The head stand is tall as 10 feet and can weigh up to 20 tons. They are believed to represent different Olmec rulers. Workers, including those who hauled the rocks for the stone sculptures, and farmers made up most of Olmec society. They are at the bottom of the civilization class structure. Rulers were at the top, followed by priests, merchants, and artists. The farmers and workers lived in simple houses made of wood or mud. The upper class is lived in more elaborate stone structures in war fine clothes and precious jewelry. Archaeologists are not sure why, but around 400 BC, the Olmec civilization disappear. However, elements of the civilization's legacy can be seen in later civilizations. As new civilizations arose, their people were influenced by Olmec art and religious practices. As a result many archaeologists consider the Olmec to be the mother culture of Mesoamerica. In the next part of this lesson we will learn about another early Mesoamerican civilization, the Zapotec. As the Olmec declined, the Zapotec people were developing an advanced society to the southwest. Although their culture reflected Olmec influences, the Zapotec developed their own distinct and powerful civilization. They became a leading player in Mesoamerica. The Zapotec people would build one of the first major cities in Mesoamerica, but their beginnings were humble. They developed their society in Oaxaca Valley, a large, open area where three smaller valleys meet. This fertile area, with its rivers, mild climate, and abundant rainfall, proved excellent for growing crops, especially maize. For centuries, the Zapotec lived in farming villages located throughout the Oaxaca Valley. Then, around 1300 BC, a settlement called San Jose Magote emerged as the Zapotec center of power. Leaders built temples there and had artists decorate them with huge sculptures. In time, nearly half of the Zapotec people lived in San Jose Magote. Around 500 BC, the center of power shifted when the Zapotec built a city known now as Monte Alban high atop a mountain. The site overlooked the Oaxaca Valley. Its location helped the Zapotec defend themselves against their enemies. Monte Alban must have been a spectacular sight. The city's rulers flattened the top of the mountain and built great plazas on it filled with pyramids, palaces and even an astronomical observatory. Monte Alban became the center of the Zapotec civilization. There, the Zapotec built magnificent tombs in which they buried the bodies of wealthy people wearing their gold jewelry. The Zapotec believed the deceased would carry the jewelry into the afterlife. Artificial terraces, or step platforms built into the mountainside, provided additional area for building and agriculture. Around AD 750, Monte Alban's power began to weaken. By 900, the city had disappeared. Economic difficulties may have caused the decline, but no one knows for sure. Like the fall of the Olmec, the decline of the Zapotec civilization remains a mystery.